Good day everyone, this is your friend from from Baholod City, Negros Occidental Philippines, Mr. Jake Rodriguez Pomperada. In this tutorial video guys, we will learn how to write a Visual Basic.net program that will compute the factors of a given number. Before continue, if you are new with my channel, please click the like button, leave a comment in the comment section of this video tutorial and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming video tutorials before anything else I would like to say thank you very much to all my subscribers in my channel thank you so much for your support comments and suggestions so let's get started the title of our program is factors finder of a number in vb.net so we have here a brief description this is a program that can find factors of a number entered by the user and display them in a list box so when we run our program first so when we run our program our program will simply ask the user to give a number let's say for example we will give a value of 70 give a number 70 when I click the compute button it will generate the list of numbers that are visible to our number 70 so we have 2, 5, 7, 10, 14, 35, 70 in our list box when we click the clear button it will clear the value and then the focus it allows us to give another set of numbers let's say for example we have 40 we have when we give a value 40 we have 2 4 5 8 10 20 and 40 and then when we click the quit button our program end now so here in our program we have one label a text box and three buttons and then a list box one so here in our compute button we have here the code dim n for number x as integer n equals val text box 1 dot text n for x equals 2 to n minus 1 if n mode for remainder x equals 0 means there is no remainder so it is a becomes a factors all the values of x in our for loop statement will be added as an item in our less box that can be located here in our list box one. So and if and then list box item add items. And then here in our clear button we have all we have just list box one that items that clear to clear the value. And then we have here text box one that focus. I forgot to write here text box one that text equals double quotation to clear and then for our acquit uh, we have we can simply put sorry in our clear we can simply put an end to end the program so when we run the program by clicking the play button it allows us to give us a, a, a new set of value so factors finder of a number in vb.net give a number 100 click the compute button so we have here a series of values clear and then let's say for example we have 200 compute so our list box values will be adjusted depends on the given number by the user and then when we click the quit button our program ter is terminated and then return to our code don't worry because I will put a link on the description below of this video tutorial so that you can copy the complete source code if you don't want to type so let's say another example 
let's say 500 so we have here a series of values this is the end of our tutorial video on how to write factors finder of a number in vb.net or visualbasic.net thank you very much guys for watching if you like this video tutorial please click the like button leave a comment in the comment section of this video tutorials share and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming video tutorials this is your friend Jake Rodriguez Pomperada from Bacolod City, Negros, Occidental, Philippines. Until to the next video tutorial, bye bye for now.